Hey everybody, I am going to be painting today, so um, what I'm going to be painting, you might ask. So, oh, so I'm going to be painting this thing because I think it's really cute and I put a couple of bugs on it, you know. Um, so we're going to do this. And while I record this process, I'm going to be talking about my art goals for 2022. So grab a drink, grab a snack, make yourself all comfy, and get ready to watch this aesthetic painting process while I tell you my 2022 art goals. So another thing about my art goals, I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't have a crazy illness, I'm, I don't have a sick parent or family member, I don't have a disability, so all these things are just things that I'm currently capable of and things that I want to push myself to do. Don't feel like you need to push yourself to have art goals. Obviously, this is all just things that I'm working on for this new year. But um, yeah, if you guys have art goals, I am so down to read about them in the comments. So please leave them down below. Link your channels, link, link your Instagrams. I'd love to check it out. But with that, yeah, I'm going to just get started. So I actually haven't really been setting art goals for the past few years. I feel like I've had some goals of like, oh, like I want to make money off my art and I want to kind of improve my style and kind of find my style. I feel like that's been my goal for a pretty long time with my art, but I haven't really set concrete ones, but after a couple years of kind of drawing pretty consistently and after a year of like really posting on my Instagram a lot, I'm ready to make some more solid goals where I can feel accomplished and also kind of hold myself accountable to try different things and um, yeah, feel better about my work and stuff like that. So my first art goal for this year is to express myself genuinely. So as a kid, I feel like I was using my art to kind of cope with a lot of trauma and like I journaled and drew a lot kind of in unison. My sketchbook was kind of my journal as well. So uh, yeah, I really want to like kind of tap into like those emotions and how I'm feeling and the relevant themes in my life and kind of uh, explore that within like just doodling and maybe incorporating more of that into my work. I want to make at least five rugs. I haven't made a single one yet. It's the end of January, so it's fine. But um, yeah, me and my boyfriend last year, we made my rug tufting um, frame. It's a five foot by four foot frame. I had to resize it was five by five, but then the largest um, tufting fra fabric that I could get from my local fabric store was four feet by whatever length like it's like on a strip of fabric so i could cut it at whatever but yeah it had to be four feet long in one direction so i had to resize it um it was kind of a pain i had to saw some parts and like um reattach things unscrew everything it was a whole it was a whole mission so now my rug frame is finally built i've tried tufting on it a little bit but uh I think I'm just really scared of messing up uh, as the tufting fabric is pretty expensive. My next goal is I want to draw myself and my culture more. Um, so I usually draw myself like when I don't know what to draw, I kind of draw like the same face and like body a, a lot, but I want to kind of like represent more what I look like and more um, my culture and what I draw. So like I wear bindi all, a lot of the time, uh, I want to represent that. Um, and my culture is just really pretty and I feel like there's a really, um, it's kind of complicated. I think I'll make a whole video about like my kind of cultural identity and my artwork and um, talking more about that. But um, I'm from India, but I'm Tamil. So it's kind of complicated. Like uh, a lot of Indian Tamil people don't really like to be even um, associated with India as India doesn't really give a shit about what we want or need but um yeah but also like there's a good portion of us that are really nationalist and um very in love with india so yeah i don't know i can't speak for everybody but um it's been kind of complicated especially growing up in a place where um a lot of people who are affected from the sri lankan genocide against tamil people are living i've kind of grown up around um sri lankan tamil people so yeah, it's been interesting. Um, I'll talk more about that later. It's kind of a really big topic. But yeah, I want to express my culture more in my art. Um, I want to have more cohesive work. I feel like this has been happening in my work recently where I use more of a um, kind of central color palette um, or kind of central style, cartoony style where you can kind of tell like what's my work, what's not my work. Um, but yeah, I think I kind of want to... Um, just make my work more cohesive, kind of relate to each other so that there's like more 
Um, this is just so that I can kind of find my style more and kind of understand like what I really like um, in art and what I'm producing. Another one is fi figure out brands to work with and work with a brand. Um, I'm hoping to work with a clothing brand probably this year. Um, I paint a lot and I wanted to paint on clothing and I've been um, kind of just waiting for the funds so that I can buy things from the thrift store and kind of paint on them. So yeah, that's another thing I want to do this year. I want to incorporate more characters I know and love. So I want to do more fan art because I feel like it's um, popular. It's an easy way to like kind of get um, views on different social media, but also because um, I feel like I have a lot of niche interests and um, kind of representing these characters would in like an artistic way could be cool for people who also love these characters but haven't really seen them anywhere. This year I also want to try new things, so in that sense I mean like uh, I want to work in different ways, I want to work with different media, which is like the next one I want to work with a variety of subject matter and media, so I just kind of want to draw whatever I want to draw, whatever I find aesthetic, whatever somebody challenges me to draw, I don't know, just kind of um, like really be explorative in my work and um, just kind of draw anything because, you know, I feel like I've been falling out of practice um, just kind of drawing things that are more familiar to me. I've been doing a lot of digital work and painting, but again, I haven't really been working with rugs that much. I have some yarn I wanted to crochet, among other things like clay things. Like I just haven't been working with all of the mediums that I really want to be working with. And I feel like um, doing more of that this year could make me more um, happy with my work and proud of it. <laughs> Another goal that I have is to be proud of my work. So I feel like um, this past year I've been really kind of upset with my work. Like I've been really upset because I feel like I've been kind of creating for an audience instead of like, um, creating for myself, just kind of creating for views. And um, I don't really like that um, that idea. Like I wish that I just kind of drew whatever I felt um, was cool or nice in that moment instead of trying to get those views very actively. So yeah, that's um, another thing I want to do. Also just kind of being proud of my work just because it's my work. Like it's, uh, I saw Studio Maggie and a, and a few other artists talk about this, but just kind of like uh, talking about, um, you know, the art of creating something and that being beautiful in itself and that being worthy of being proud of in itself. Um, not really related to the outcome of your drawing or your creation. Yeah, and um, another goal I have is to draw every day. So I haven't really been drawing every day, but I've been pretty close. I think almost every day I've been drawing this month at least and even towards the end of last month. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that and I'm <laughs> I hope to continue it in the new year. And um, another goal, my last goal that I have is to be able to live off my art and my brand by the end of the year. So I really don't know if this is gonna happen and I've been trying to kind of like be more patient with myself because I do have ADHD and I do work in a kind of sporadic way um, because of it. And um, I've, I've been seeing a lot of things online talking about, oh yeah, like you're doing the right thing, you're just not consistent enough. But like that in itself is kind of ableist as like uh, an ADHD person. My brain is very interest driven. So it's really hard for me to work on things when I'm not interested. And um, yeah, it's, it's just been really hard to continue with things. Um, even if like I really loved the idea at first, it's, it's been really hard to kind of keep going with it. So um, yeah, I just hope that I can, this is just kind of like me moving towards living off my art because ultimately I don't want to be working any other side jobs. I want um, to just be creating my art as my full-time job. I don't want to um, do anything else really like drawing, creating, working with clay. This is my passion. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, these are all my goals. Like I, let me know what you think of them. I don't really have an order to them. Um, obviously like all of them are not are are not achievable may not be achievable by the end of this year but um yeah i'm just doing the best that i can and um yeah i hope you guys like this video let me know if you want more let me know if you like the art that i made um if you want to check out more i have an instagram i also have a twitter i'm not very active on but i'm working on it um 
but yeah um stay posted with my stuff if you like it and um meet me back here um next time i make a video oh also put your art goals in the comments because i'm very curious um i'd love to see your guys's art i love to share it shout it out like just yeah i just feel like the artist community needs to be even more um like uh proactive in sharing smaller artist work so yeah i'm a small artist sharing other small small artists so if you're a small artist please put your info in the comments um it's totally fine um yeah i would love to check you out Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.